exercise that I'm going to teach you right now um, is something that the guides channeled. This is something that I teach in my classes and they wanted us to do a video so that people who read the book and read the exercise at the end of the book can watch this video and I can basically walk you through connecting with your higher consciousness, your higher self. So before I start the exercise, what I want you to do um, is in the exercise, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to command energy to leave your field. Um, so when I say field, I want you to imagine your field as a snow globe. Okay, so you have like a snow globe around you. You, your physical body is the statue. Your consciousness or your awareness or your spirit is what lives inside the statue. And then I want you to kind of just bear with me here. We're using our imagination a lot. Is a light shooting straight up out of the statue up to your higher self. Above that would be your soul, then your over soul, and then it goes up a bunch more layers all the way up to source energy, um, all the way up to, to God or whatever you want to call um, the creator. So what I want you to do is to ask yourself real quick, close your eyes for a second, ask yourself if source energy, if the creator, if God was to be somewhere where would it be and where is your attention taken to first mine's always taken like right like if i'm in the middle of a clock um, looking at 12 o'clock and six o'clock back there uh source is up by 12 o'clock so um i'm not going to get into why i see it there as opposed to up there um or over there some people see it there or there there's there's different um reasons for this but this is in a class that i teach but just find out where it is that you see source and then i want you to imagine that source is some sort of like portal or light or bubble or something because um, we're going to be sending energies to the light but in order for you to heal on a quantum level you need to observe the act of observing is what makes quantum healing what makes it effective is the actual observing and and I don't know if it, all of you have uh, read about or watch things on YouTube or videos on uh, quantum physics, but basically it's the act of observing is what actually makes something reality. So we need to set up our little um, stage, our little area right now that we're we're going to be witnessing in. So you you're your snow globe, you're your statue, your spirit is inside. Source, creator, higher self, the divine, they're all up that way and connected to you. And as human beings, what happens is um, our mind gets in the way of our connection. Um, our emotions get in the way. Our intellectual mind gets in the way. Um, other people's thoughts and emotions get in the way. And other people's energy that's within our snow globe will cause us to get all goopy because we don't have defense mechanisms for maybe somebody's dealing with a death in the family and you've never lost anybody. Um, and they're dealing with that right now, you pass by them and you talk with them and that you take on some of that energy and all of a sudden you get depressed and you don't know why. That's why, because you're taking on some of their energy, even if you didn't even know that they lost somebody. Um, so anyway, so close your eyes right now and create a portal that would be what you would call the source energy or God or the creator, the divine. Okay. And then I'm going to walk you through connecting with your higher self, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and channel our guide Abraham for this. In connecting with your higher self, what one must do is to understand, understand that your higher self is you. All layers of your higher self are you. Your body, your body is a vehicle, and this vehicle is able to communicate with all layers of self, including the human aspects and the higher vibrational aspects that cannot be seen with the human eye. So close your eyes and imagine, imagine in front of you a ball of light. This ball of light has mist around it or fog it looks similar to a street lamp at night when it's foggy. You can see this light shining through this mist. So as you breathe in through your nose, breathe in this mist, allowing it to fill your body. 
And as you breathe out, breathe out that which does not serve you, that which is not for your highest and best good. You don't need to know what you're releasing, just have the intention that you're breathing in this light mist. And breathing out the stress of the day, other people's stress, relationships, work, traffic, whatever. And then bringing your awareness into the center of your brain. I want you to imagine yourself as a little miniature version of yourself. So there's this little miniature version of yourself right in the middle of your brain. And around the mini you is a bubble, like an elevator. Now with your mind, imagine this bubble with you in it going up to about two feet above your head where there's another bubble. This is your higher self. And it can be any color. Mine's blue right now, so it can change colors. And just allow the bubble that you're in to merge with your higher self bubble. Taking a deep breath in your nose and out your mouth. Releasing any blocks that you have between you and your higher self with these breaths. And now the bubble shoots up about 60 feet in the sky to another bubble. This is your creator soul. And it may be a different color, it may be clear, it may be pink, it may be green, it may be yellow, it does not matter. Just allow your higher self bubble with you in it to merge with your creator soul. And then drop back down through the sky, down through the crown of your head, down through your face, your throat, down through your heart, your solar plexus, down through the legs, out your feet, and shoot down to the center of the earth where Mother Earth's energy is, unconditional love, peace, joy. And just allow that beautiful light from the center of the earth to completely fill up the bubble that you're in. You can imagine it as liquid or light or whatever you want to imagine it as, but I will sometimes see it as elevator doors opening and just beautiful, beautiful light liquid rushing in and completely filling the elevator. You can imagine it however you want. And once your bubble or your elevator is full of light from the earth, shoot back up through the earth through your feet, up through your legs, your hips, up to the seat of your soul, which is between the solar plexus and your heart, through the heart, throat, and then right back to your head, and that's where you're going to stay. By doing this, you're allowing yourself, you're giving yourself permission to use your mind. A lot of people um, teach in meditation to still the mind. It's very hard for me to do that. Uh, so I, the guides taught me a way to use my mind um, while connected to a quantum aspect of myself so that I can use my mind to do the clearings and meditate and communicate with guides and not have to worry about stilling my mind. So what I want you to do now that you're aligned with your higher self, your creator soul, you're grounded to the earth, and your consciousness and your awareness is within your mind. I want you to imagine that portal that is source. I see it as a big white portal, kind of at 12 o'clock, if I'm in the middle of the clock, up in the sky. 
And I'm going to say, I now will my higher self to remove all energies, spirits, that are not of the light and send them to the light. And then I'm just going to imagine energy leaving my snow globe and going into the light. You can be specific, you can say things like, I now will any energies that belong to my husband to go into the light. I now will any energies that belong to school or work or home or my kids or a project I'm working on. Um, you can be very specific and do these energies one at a time or you can just say I now will all energies that are not for my highest and best good to go to light. And once you're done witnessing them leaving, remember you're going to feel like you're totally, totally making this stuff up. But even if you feel like you're making it up, it's okay. That's just, it's, it works. Just, just wait. Just see. Um, even if you're skeptical, just try this and you'll see. So you're going to send all the energies to the light. And once they're done, all going through into the light, just say thank you. And then you're just going to kind of bring your awareness back to your physical body and kind of wiggle your fingers and toes and then open your eyes and go about the day. Uh, there's other techniques where you can kind of clear your energy and then you can call in guides or angels or you can talk to your higher self or get messages or while in that state you can do something called automatic writing or that's what I do before I channel. Um, so. Anyways, um, I just kind of half channeled Abraham and then told him that I wanted to take over because I wanted to be able to give you guys examples on what I was seeing and what I was feeling because I feel like, um, for me at least, um, I learn really well from teachers that give me examples of how they feel and their insecurities and the things that they've used to overcome them. So hopefully it helps you and I hope that you enjoy this video. My website is www.discoverintuition.com. I've got my channel here on YouTube and I'm going to be posting this on Facebook. So if you want, just comment below whether it's good or bad, whether it's like, oh my God, Marissa, this sucks. It, it didn't do anything for me. Or, oh, when I got to this one point up when I was connecting, um, I had a hard time coming back down or, um, you know, I couldn't center myself in my body or whatever. Just um, leave questions on the comment section on YouTube or Facebook and that way I'll know things to address in the future and questions to answer. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you get our book when it comes out in a couple weeks. We'll be posting about it. Uh, the name I think is just going to be Developing Your Intuition and Other Mysteries of the Universe. Something very simple like that by Marissa Morris and William Gladstone. Okay, you guys have a great day or night and I will see you soon. God bless. Bye.